Hi everybody, I'm coming to you from a rather chilly morning in Brisbane at the moment. Um, I know that for many of you that are going to see this, it's going to be a different time of day. I know that some people in America are saying how hot and humid it is. Um, but I just wanted to come to you today with a truth dagger. I'm going to read to you from Isaiah 43 verse 7 and I'm gonna read in the passion translation um, I love the passion translation I typically study the Bible in either the ESV the NASB or the um, New King James Version but I, I think that the passion translation is just a beautiful beautiful summarization of God's heart I just love it and I love what really stands out to me this verse in the passion translation but I want to encourage you to read it in the other in the other translations as well so Isaiah 43 verse 7 in the passion says God is speaking and he's speaking to the nation of Israel which if you know we are in the new covenant we've been grafted into that and because of Jesus all the promises that go to Israel actually go to us as well and God says bring me everyone who is called by my name the ones that I created to experience my glory I myself formed them to be who they are and made them for my glory now some of you may have seen a post that I posted earlier this week. I can't get off of this topic. I was thinking about glory all of last week and then I heard a sermon on Friday night about joy and about glory and I've been just glued to this. And here's what I wanna to say to you today. First of all, that word glory, um, this is the Old Testament, which means it was written in the Hebrew language. The New Testament is written in the Greek. The Old Testament is written in the Hebrew. And in the Hebrew, that word glory there is actually the Hebrew word kabod, which actually holds so many different, it's so weighty. It actually means a weighty, splendorous abundance, a presence of God. Have you ever met someone that you just know that they've been with Jesus because they carry such a heavy, weighty presence and there's so much honor and so much holiness and that is the weighty glory of God. It comes with just a holiness and a reverence. It comes with a fear of God. Sometimes in the services, the good fear, the holy reverence and awe. That is the weighty kabod presence of God. And God is saying to each of us as his children right here, when you doubt why you were created, when you doubt what the future holds, when you doubt and you're, and you're feeling bad about yourself and you don't know who you are, when you're having a bad day, I want you to turn to this scripture and remember that God says that he wants, bring to me, bring to me all who are called by my name. That would be you if you have Jesus, if you have made Jesus the Lord and the savior of your life, you are called by the name of God. And God says, the ones I created to experience my glory, he created us to experience this Kabod, this weighty presence. He created us to experience his presence like this. And then he says that he formed us to be who we were made to be for his glory. Now, if you look at this in other translations, it's also saying we were formed both to experience God's glory, but also to carry God's glory. Now, I know I love, um, I love listening to Jennifer Ives, and she's got a book called Glory Carriers. And so I'm not going to steal, that's, that's hashtag Jennifer Ives, that is her saying, but let me tell you it's heaven saying as well, that we are called to be carriers of the glory of God, but we first have to experience the glory of God. He has created you and I first and foremost to experience him, to experience the weighty presence. And I love that word splendorous. I'm a writer, so I love, I love words. The splendorous presence of God, the splendorous abundance of God, the splendorous honor of God. That's the very thing that we get to carry, that he has created us to carry. So I just want to encourage you, whether it's 10 a.m. On, on Wednesday morning in, in Australia, or 7 p.m. on Tuesday night in America, or like 
the middle of the night in, in the UK or wherever you are, I want to encourage you that you have been created to both experience the weighty presence of God, but also to carry the weighty presence of God wherever you go. And you have the ability by faith in Jesus to do that because he is alive within you. As he is, so are we in this world. So I just wanna encourage you today, continue to carry that Continue to experience that and continue to dive in and ask God, ask God to reveal to you what it means to carry and experience the weighty glory of God in your life. I just want to bless you with that. And again, that was from Isaiah 43 verse 7 and I was reading from the Passion Translation. So may that bless you today. Awesome glory carriers.